Yo, what's good? Um, we left off last time. We were going to talk about why we're seeing these changes now. And to be honest, it's all theory, but we all know I love a theory. So in the last video, I told you that they suspected I had polycystic ovaries. Now, the reason they thought I had polycystic ovaries was because I had what I could only describe as phantom period pains. What the heck does that mean, Nick? Basically, I felt all the pain in anticipation of this monthly occasion that women are burdened with. However, the occasion never arrived. Transparency, I don't like calling it period, fam. I don't. I don't. It just, uh, uh, ugh. So that's what led to me going to the doctors. Now, in order for them to regulate my hormones, um, I was put on the contraceptive pill. So I stayed on the contraceptive pill for approximately five or six years until eventually I had a minor stroke. And I know, I know you're about to get worried, but you don't need to worry about me. It was so minor, I had this thing and didn't know for a couple of months. My partner at the time, her mum said to me that she was concerned about how I was feeling. I was having like loads of headaches and stuff, blah, blah. She's like, just go to the doctor, Nick. Just get checked. We went down to the doctor and um, they asked me loads of questions. But the question that then made the GP go, oh my God, you need to go to a &E, was whether or not I felt any numbness or, or whatever in any of my limbs, which yeah, I had done. It was minor. That's not the point of this story. So I came off the pill for a little while. I got fed up, to be honest and requested to go back on another pill because I did not need the monthly reminder that I was not pregnant. I went back on this pill and I think I was on it for maybe another three years or so. I made a decision around about what somebody described as my Venus return. I'm not an astrologer. I don't know whether or not it was a Venus return. I just felt like some things needed to shift. Part of trying to accept and reconcile my gender with my biology was the idea or the notion that if I used my body for what it was designed for in giving birth, then maybe I'd feel better about who I am and, and um, how I feel about myself. So I came off the pill, which means that my hormones are no longer regulated. They're doing exactly whatever the heck it was that they were supposed to be doing from the day jump. That's my theory as to why we're seeing all these changes now. And granted, it hasn't happened overnight. I saw a video pop up on Facebook memories earlier on today and two years ago, mate, I barely recognized my voice. I'm not gonna lie. There was no facial hair. I was still being recognised as a guy back then, funnily enough. Women got very, very upset with me about going into the ladies' toilet. Should have been my first clue, to be honest. I hadn't realised that anything had changed at the time. Yeah, that's, that's my reason, I, I think, as to why we're seeing all these things happening now. The only reason I'm doing this video today is because I didn't want to leave the story on a loose end. I want to talk about other stuff. I don't specifically want to focus on my identity and my biology and all that stuff because it is hella personal but I feel like in order for you to know who I am and how I see things sometimes it's important to have some background so there's the background all right so hit the subscribe button like the video drop a comment if you want to know something please ask a question guys I will run out of content I'm not gonna lie I'm a chatty person but unless you give me something to talk about I'm just gonna sit down here and waffle in front of the camera so You've got my socials. You should have my socials. It's right there. There? Somewhere around here. Okay? Keep me up, man.